This conference has uh, grown up in an amazing way. The, the first conference in Niagara Falls, Canada in 2007 had 297 people and from about 40 countries, I think. This week we have uh, nearly 550 people from more than 60 countries. And it's not only the number of people who are attending, but it's the energy between the delegates, it's the connectivity and the networks between the delegates, and I think probably also between the delegates, shared experiences of success, having met at this conference, having gone back and pursued cases together and, su and succeeded to close cases. Working with Interpol has really been uh, a great experience for UL. First of all, Interpol comes to this partnership and this conference with a very strong commitment to help improve the ability of law enforcement and customs officials around the world to combat illicit goods. Uh, and then secondly, Interpol has been incredibly capable of bringing skills, people, resources, focus, knowledge that has made this conference the success that it is. And without Interpol, in fact, I believe this conference would never have been successful and, and may never have existed. Going forward, uh, we of course expect that this conference will continue to be a vital international conference bringing together law enforcement to, to fight this issue. We know that counterfeiters are incredibly creative, incredibly imaginative. Uh, they're always finding new ways to uh, beat the system and the system has to find, therefore, new ways to beat them. Uh, but I think one of the most important things is to have a global network of people who know each other, who can share experiences, who can work together on cases. We found out in our own company through the work that we do with our global leadership program that spending time with people uh, in training venues, uh, at meals, maybe after the, after the meal having a drink in a pub, and developing a personal relationship allows you to pick up a phone, make a call, make a connection, get something done that otherwise may never get done or if it did would take months. And those personal human connections are just as important or more important for law enforcement, I believe, than it is for the criminal element who's trying to make and profit from these illicit goods.